morning, brothers and sisters. I come to you today reading out of the Gospel of John, verse, uh, the chapter of 14, verses 5 and 6. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, there is no other way. I was challenged uh, one time. Somebody wanted me to explain the way without using Bible verse. That was a challenge. But this is what I. This is what the Holy Ghost told me to tell him. God told you the way to His house. He told you to take the right toward Jesus. If you take a left, are you going to get closer to God's house or are you going to get farther away? I mean, that's, that's, God told you the way to his house. If, uh, if we don't go the way he says, we get further and further away from his house. Am I correct? So if we don't go the way, the truth, and the life, which is Jesus Christ, we don't get to God's house. We get further away from God's house. Now, there's, uh, there's people in the world like Oprah, uh, Larry King. There's so many of these people saying that all paths lead to God. Well, that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says here in uh, John chapter 14, verse 5, or verse 6, says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father but by me. It's pretty self-explanatory. There is no other way. You know, uh, so many people in the world, they want, to, they want to find a way to God, but they don't want to go the right way. It's too hard to live the way Christ said that we needed to live. It's too well if we don't live that way, it doesn't matter. We're not going to get to heaven. There is a place called heaven and there is a place called hell. And a lot of people are going there. For the the Bible says uh the path is broad and and the way to life is narrow and few find it. It's really sad because there's so many people that just won't open their eyes. They don't want to live the way Jesus tells them to live. And he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. If he's the way, the truth, and the life, what other way is there? There is no other way. There is no other way to go. There's no other direction to go. There is no, well, if I'm good enough, I can get there. You can't be good enough. For, you know, the Bible uh, says in Isaiah that, that our best works are like filthy rags unto God. So that just means that we can't do it on our own. We need Jesus. Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is Lord. Without Jesus, there's no way to heaven. So, you know, we can walk around and, you know, we can kick rocks and, 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 and try every other way that we can but there's no other way so I urge you brothers and sisters think about this long and hard for a minute if you haven't accepted Jesus into your heart now's the, the Bible says now's the time of salvation there is no other time there is no other way and the Bible says, uh, seek God while he can still be found. Brothers and sisters, this is talking about there is a time where he won't be found. After the rapture of the church or the great catching away, whichever one you want to call it, God won't be around. The only way for them to be saved at that time is not to take the mark of the beast. But unless you take the mark of the beast, you won't be able to buy, sell, trade, and there's so many people on the earth that's not going to be able to sit there and watch their family starve, so they're going to take the mark of the beast so that they can feed their family. I urge you, brothers and sisters, seek Jesus. Seek Jesus today. Jesus is the only way. There is no other way. I urge you today, of all days, 
seek Jesus. Ask him to come into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. Ask him to help you to repent. Because Jesus also said, unless ye repent, you all shall likewise perish. That's truth, ladies and gentlemen. There's, there's just no other way. So many people think that they can live however they want to live and, and go and do whatever they want to do and still live like they're in the world. And in 1 Corinthians it says, Paul says, uh, if anybody be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are created new. So I urge you, ladies and gentlemen, there's just no other way out of it. You have to accept Jesus. There's no other way out of hell. Without Jesus, we'll all go to hell. And anybody who don't accept him will go to hell. There's no ifs, there's no ands, and there's no buts. There's no compromise in the Word of God. It's written out in plain black and white. Well, in most Bibles, red and white. <laughs> but, uh... I urge you, ladies and gentlemen, find Jesus today while he can still be found. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for hearing us, Lord. I thank you for hearing us always. Lord, I pray if there's anybody out there today that does not know you, Lord, I pray that they come to know you today, Lord. I pray that they want to say, I, I pray that they want to be saved from hell. I pray that they want to do good for, by you, Lord. I hope that they understand that you're not a fire escape, Lord. You're not a fire escape. They can't come, they can't come to you just to escape hell. They have to come to you because they love you, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, and I praise you always. I thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord. I thank you that your Holy Spirit guides us on the right path and leads us to the right path. For your word says, for few find it. I thank you and I praise you, Lord. In the blessed, precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus is not a fire escape. We're not to go to him just, just, to, just to escape hell. That's what a lot of people do, and they live their life like however they want to. Say, well, okay, I got Jesus. Now I can just live however I want to because I can't help it. You can help it. We can help it. Jesus showed us that, that it can be done. Jesus lived this earth and walked this earth and was without sin, but yet he was in the flesh. He was in the same sinful flesh we were in, but yet he did not sin. It's another thing you must believe. I thank you and I praise you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for hearing us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Well, until next time, brothers and sisters. Shalom.